We are here with um, Pierre Midiar, who founded eBay and then just vanished from Silicon Valley. So he does actually exist. He is in Hawaii. Um, Pierre, thank you for letting us come yeah, to your office. Great to be here. So this is the first question I've always wanted to ask you. Um, what about the Pez dispensers thing? Because there's, it came up as this lore in Silicon Valley that eBay was started as a way for your wife to trade Pez dispensers. Right. But then it's a joke within like the higher elements of Silicon Valley that that was completely made up by PR people was, as a founding myth. It wasn't, um, I'd say it, uh, it wasn't uh, completely made up. There's, you uh -huh. know, like, like every creation myth, there's a, uh, there's an element of truth to it, right? <laughs> you know, and, and the, the story is that, uh, is that uh, Pam was passionate about collecting pest dispensers. Now, it wasn't the reason that I created eBay, uh -huh. but it was something that helped me connect with the, um, uh, the passion that individual collectors have, mm -hmm. you know, about the things that they collect. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so we, you know, we might have embellished a little bit on the, on the story, uh, <laughs> Uh, in those early days, but uh, I think that's uh, I think we can blame that on on PR people. <laughs> I was just saying, blame our reporters or PR people. Let's pick PR people. <laughs> All right, so now you're doing this really exciting um, company, Peer News. That's going to be sort of this local. The way, the way you describe the mission is creating a new civic square, which right. doesn't really involve the words news or media or right. any right. of the things that people attributed to the right. the site. And um, mm -hmm. we posted some details about it yesterday. Right. You know, it's take it's gotten this kind of national news coverage, but you're really building a very local news network right, right. Um, in Hawaii, a part of the U.S. we typically forget about <laughs> on the mainland. Yeah. So is this a, just a, a sort of passion-based small business experiment, or do you see this as kind of a, a, your next startup? I mean, yeah. what, something that could become big. You know, I've, I've, been, I've been passionate about the role of journalism in, in democracy for the last several years here. Mm -hmm and have really been uh, um, dismayed by the decline of the journalism industry generally. Mm -hmm. And it's been particularly hardest hit uh, in local markets. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, uh, we live here in, in Honolulu. Uh, this is where we're raising our kids. We plan to be here for a long time. And what we're trying to do with Peer News is to bring journalism back to the center of the civic discussion and conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, people here, like in every other community, they want to know what's going on in town. Mm -hmm. They really want help understanding the, uh, um, you know, the issues and what's behind the issues. And I think, so we're looking to create a place that provides that kind of learning and understanding mm -hmm. and a place for people to debate uh, with one another, to discover the sol solutions to the problems we're facing. It's something that we can do uh, that we look forward to doing, uh, you know, online. You can do that much better mm -hmm. than you can by printing a newspaper and sending it out to people's homes, obviously. Uh, and so I'm really excited about the opportunity to bring high-quality journalists mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to this market, focused on the important civic issues, mm -hmm. uh, and and coupling that with community discussion and mm -hmm. participation uh, as folks really dive into the issues and understand them and just move this community forward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's all you're focused on right now, making it work here, making it sustainable, yeah. making it a business that works. That's right. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, people have looked at um, uh, sort of the, the challenges in, in, uh, in, in uh, business models for, uh, for, for journalism. You know, our focus here is on uh, making it work here in Honolulu. Um, we've got we've got a lot to do to mm -hmm. actually make that work. Uh, you know, down the road is is uh, is down the road, but our our focus is is 100% on Hawaii. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. So we've been talking a little bit uh, earlier today about this issue of hate online, and it's mm -hmm. interesting because yeah. it kind of bookends your career. I mean, yeah. a lot of what you guys are doing with Peer is trying to make yeah. sure there's um, your, there's discussion and there's not just sort of trolling and right. name calling and you know kind of all the stuff we see on a lot of other what we mm -hmm. would call new media yeah. um, sites. And then you know in the early days of eBay, I mean one of eBay's real innovations was creating yeah. civility and trust right. to right. trade things over a network. Right. In the middle, we have a raft of all these Web 2.0 companies mm -hmm. that rely on communities but have a hard time, like either whether it's Dig sort of dis having yeah. dissenting with mob rule and That's having right. to give up to what its users wants, yeah. whether it's yeah. uh, you know ugly comments that you see on sites like TechCrunch and debates around that. Why do you, why do you think it is so hard for, for everyone else to control this hate online issue? Yeah. You know, I mean, I think, uh, I think probably the biggest mistake that uh, people have made online is, uh, uh, is allowing and embracing anonymous speech. Mm -hmm. You know, in the early days of eBay, as you said, uh, you know, I, I was very clear to say that anonymity was not compatible with commerce. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to know who you're trading with, mm -hmm. right? And I think, I think the same goes for discussion. Mm -hmm. you think about it in your everyday life. How often do you sit across from a complete stranger 
and have a discussion with them without introducing yourselves. You right. know? I mean, of course you want to get to know who is the other person. Mm -hmm. And then when you're sitting across the table from them, you're not going to make hateful, insulting, intolerant comments because you're not going to be sitting across the table from them for very long, <laughs> right, if you do that. And so somehow we, we didn't translate that experience online very well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's, that's been one of, the, one of the great failures of uh, community uh, focused uh, sites uh, uh, on the internet, and that's one of the things that we're going to do differently. You know, here in Hawaii with with Peer News, um, we're really going to be focused on civil dialogue. Mm -hmm. I mean, people, you know, we want people to be civil with one another. I think I, I find that that um, uh, uh, you know that that I often can learn quite a bit from somebody that I disagree with. Right. You know, and disagreement shouldn't be a barrier to understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, I disagree with you, but we, we should be able to learn uh, from each other and have a civil civil discussion. Mm -hmm. you know, these strong emotions like hate and fear, they get in the way of, of, uh, of people having a civil dialogue. Mm -hmm. And um, that's just not good for society. Mm -hmm. So if you had not started eBay, or if you maybe you started eBay and it hadn't become what it what it did, what do you think you'd be doing with your life right now? Oh my, what, boy, without without uh, without that, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. You know, I mean, I think I think at at, uh, uh, at heart, I uh, uh, I am an entrepreneur. You know, and I um, one of the fun things about being an entrepreneur is you get to look out at the world and you don't have to accept it as it is. Right. You know, you can say, well, I don't like that little bit over there. I'm going to change it. You know, and uh, and so I'm sure I would have found some uh, some little bit of the world that I would have liked to change. Uh huh. Okay, great. Um, do you ever miss Silicon Valley? You know, I, I get back to I get back to the valley quite often. You know, mm -hmm. I'm I'm still a, a, a chair at eBay, so that takes me up to uh, to San Jose quite a bit. It's a beautiful region. You know, I mean, I, I, I loved uh, loved living there. But I'll say we've been here in Honolulu uh, now for the last four years. Uh, this is where we're raising our kids. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. You know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, all year round, it's just mm -hmm. this incredible place. Uh, great community, lots of diversity, great mm -hmm. culture here. So uh, we, we really love it here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what advice would you have for modern day web entrepreneurs? I mean, the companies like eBay, Netscape, Amazon, yeah. all these guys unlocked this Pandora's box yeah. of young kids flocking yeah. to Silicon Valley to build stuff, and it's yeah. just gotten yeah. sort of bigger and bigger. Um, but, you know, we haven't seen as many sort of big co web companies come out of it as yeah. we did in the late 90s. Um, do you have any advice on sort of either starting something, venture capital, how pe they should be going about things? Well, you know, I would say, I mean, I'd say go back to what being an entrepreneur is really about. There's a mm -hmm. part of, there's, you look at the world, you say, this little bit over here doesn't work the way I think it should, mm -hmm. I'm going to change it. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what being an entrepreneur is about. So find something you're passionate about, work really, really hard. I mean, these are the things that I think entrepreneurs in the Valley do well and naturally. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I'm, I'm personally really inspired by... The, the new generation of entrepreneur that wants to make a difference as they're building a business. You know, they're not they're not just trying to build a business because they're going to make a lot of money, but they want to make a difference. They want to have an impact on the world, mm -hmm. improve things. And I think that what we're living in this time where technology is uh, has brought people together mm -hmm. uh, in, in sort of this unprecedented way, mm -hmm. connecting people. And so, entrepreneurs that are creating applications. That harness the power of that connection. Mm -hmm. It's it's incredibly powerful and uh, and it's just very exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, last question. So you started eBay. You've um, done a ton of philanthropic work after that. You know now you're working on this new site. What do you, if you had had to pick one thing, what would you say is the single most important thing you've done in your career? Oh my gosh. Wow. I'd say you know I am most proud of what we're doing uh, philanthropically with mm -hmm. Omidy Our Network. And you know, we're taking a different approach, taking the lessons of eBay, which was really based on this notion that people everywhere are born you know, inherently capable, the same capabilities and, and, and abilities, but don't have equal access to opportunity. Mm -hmm. And when you give people access to opportunity, great things happen. Mm -hmm. That's what happened at eBay. So many people took advantage of that, built businesses on it. Uh, and so we created, our, our whole philanthropic approach has been based on that notion mm -hmm. of how do you bring opportunity to more and more people mm -hmm. because people are the only, you know, things that, that sort of change the world, you know, and, and, right. uh, 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 and bringing more opportunity to more people around the world is going to have a huge impact, has had a huge impact in history, is having a huge impact now. I think um, bringing, bringing all that uh, at the center of a philanthropic approach, mm -hmm. uh, that's something that I'm, I'm, I'm most proud of and uh, yeah, just, just you know, thrilled about the impact. Mm -hmm.